Hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Aaron Collins, and this is another edition of me addressing worldly issues in a godly way. Hope everyone is doing well, hope everyone's in their right mind. Without further ado, let's just get on with the commentary. So yesterday, um, disgraced Minneapolis police officer Daryl Chauvin was sentenced to a little over 20 two years in a courtroom, a court of law, for the murder of George Floyd. This um one of the first cases of police misconduct where justice was actually served. And it should be a catalyst to galvanize more law business to be checked within the police department. And while this is a victory, and it is a victory, it's important that black people shouldn't get too complacent and too comfortable, because we still have a long way to go for justice. Now, Chauvin is being made an example out of, which is good. I mean, well, it could be from the 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 several riots that took place last year as a result of Floyd's murder? I don't know, but um, attention is being paid to this. My message to black people, and I know this too well, and I'm saying this because this is something that we do a lot. When something is hot, we tend to stick to it. But as soon as the attention surrounding it dies down, and everything starts to peter out. We just go back to whatever it is we were doing before our own personal lives. That has to stop because we have to really seek justice. We have to continue to start practicing being more proactive and not reactive. What happened with George Floyd last year was a tragedy sure enough but let's not forget there were those even before George Floyd that lost their lives too to police misconduct we got we can't forget about them but um Derek Chauvin is um, an example of what happens to police officers who get out of line abuse their authority abuse a position that they were sworn to serve and protect and use it to abuse and maim. The same thing should happen to Amber Geiger, Betty Shelby, Michael Slager, Darren Wilson, Jason Van Dyke, yes, and George Zimmerman as well. We have to get out of this mentality of being trendy upset being upset when when I'm saying when I say that I'm talking about being upset when it's a trend when it's when something is happening when it, when something is a hot box and then let it die out we have to be more proactive in terms of seeing that laws are made laws are changed and things are done in order to get justice enacted. Like I said, we have a long way to go. But I am grateful and I'm glad that the verdict came down the way it did. You know, and we, we need to stop. It needs to be a precedent. It needs to be consequences served and let these officers know that we're not going to take this. And um, I think I've said, I said this before, but if no one's heard me say it, I'll say it again. I don't necessarily think that defunding the police is a good idea either, because we do need some type of law and order within our society to keep things in check. See, when you take certain funds and finances from the police department, 
it cuts down on the programs that they could help. Because I am aware that there are some actual good cops out there that are really trying to do their job. This is something that I've been saying for the longest. And <clears throat> I don't know, it, it seems to be simple to me, but simply just get rid of the bad apples out of the department. I mean, it seems easy enough to me. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's some <clears throat> red tape or something they have to walk through. But I think the um, steps should be made to start getting rid of them and exit them from the department and allow them to serve the same type of justice and the same type of sentencing that us regular civilians in society have to serve. See, it should be hard for cops to get away with this. And I think more, as cliche as this may sound, yeah, more psychological evaluation does need to take place before putting these people on the street. But let it be known that officers like Daryl Chauvin will not be tolerated within society. I may get some flack for this, but I don't care because I'm going to speak my mind and I'm not going to retract anything. Daryl Chauvin got exactly what he deserved. And yeah, I know people want to talk about what well, George Floyd was a drug addict. He was a criminal. Yeah, I get all that. But um, he may have been these things, but for him to die the way he did with an officer's foot knee on his neck, wasn't deserved. And that's another thing. It's like, this happens all the time. This never ceases to amaze me. But any time when a black person is murdered or killed by the police, it's always something brought up in the person's past as a way to vilify the black person, to, to demean and to lessen the fact that this person was just killed in the street. When it comes to a white victim of police misconduct, they do everything they can to pathologize this person. They say that, oh, he has a hard life. He was picked on. But they go completely and vilify a black individual. Once again, I'm not excusing the fact that maybe George Floyd did do drugs. I'm not excusing the fact that at one time in his life he was a criminal. Okay? I get that. But he didn't deserve to die the way he did. So... I spoke my piece on it. I said what I need to say and let the healing process begin. And shout outs to the family of George Floyd that he left behind. The 70 year old daughter he had, his brothers, his sisters, mom, dad, any one of his family members. My prayers are continually with you as you get through this trying time. I know it's tough. but it's just time to let the healing process begin. And for those of us out here in the black community, I'm going to leave you with the old Swahili saying, Aluta continua, which means the struggle continues. We must continue to fight for justice. You can't let this be a one-time thing or a sometime trendy type of subject. This has to be done all the time. So I just pretty much wanted to put my take on the Daryl Chauvin sentencing. Y'all get in the comments, let me know what you think. Did I say something that resonated with you? Something that you could think about? Let me know. Share this video. Share it in your social networks. Share it with your friends, family. Share it. Hit the bell icon to be notified when I drop more videos. And support the channel at paypal.me forward slash Collins. 
as well as patreon.com forward slash real Aaron Collins. I like to talk about good news and stuff. And sometimes we also have to continue to talk about the other things. Like I said, I'm going to always sound off about injustices and stuff as well. But I also like to talk about the positive things. And I'm still a positive person. I'm a positive brother, always have and always will be. Anyway, y'all know what to do. So remember this, y'all, that God loves you. I love you. Let's do life. And I'll see you in the next video.